On September 23, 1966, Jimi Hendrix, 23, an itinerant jobbing guitarist, boarded a flight from New York to London's Heathrow Airport. His worldly possessions would have made Huck Finn blush. A couple of shirts, some pants, a toothbrush, skin cream for his spots, plastic hair curlers, and a few bucks he copped from a soft touch on the way out of town. His life up to that point had been one grinding obstacle after another. High school dropout, Army Air Force dropout, lurching across the country like a Depression era train hopper, finding solace only in the iridescent depths of a guitar chord he alone could hear. Within the confines of that battered six string muse that he kept as close as his heartbeat, he found beauty, rapture, when the world around him offered indifference and often contempt. There were occasional gigs, they paid occasionally, where he could exercise his ideas, earn his stripes, backing a succession of razor-sharp hip shakers and Baptist blues belters who rode the chitlin circuit like marauding calvaries, liberating the locals with their seductive beats, their prodigious young guitarist hiding in plain sight. Jimmy was always soft-spoken, well-mannered, and open to direction, but only to a point. He wasn't going to be gulled into playing a role that diminished his own sense of self-worth, however threadbare he appeared. He remained steadfast in his belief that greatness awaited him. In retrospect, he took them farther than the most distant horizon. He ignited with the speed and spectacle of a NASA moonshot, an improbable confluence of raw talent with the rigor of that alchemical right stuff. Quote, the substantive issue is that Hendrix was ahead of his time, writes Paul Gilroy in his W.E.B. Du Bois lecture collected in the book Darker Than Blue, quote, but rather that he was able to pronounce another time-sculpting temporality itself so that his listeners could, in effect, be transported from one time to another. On September 18th, 1970, almost four years to the day that he began his ascent, this peerless musician perished in an indiscriminate whisper, an act of such quotidian misjudgment that it seemed incomprehensible to his bereft and bewildered fans. Jimi Hendrix was an artist in the floating world, and like some ethereal, untethered spirit, he drifted off into the beckoning silence, the stars his destination. <laughs>